All right, so um, today we're gonna be getting our desk right here and we're gonna be changing it and making it to where I can organize it better. This is kind of just a filler video and I need to do this, so I decided to record it. So it'd be kind of practice and to fill you guys in, I guess. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead inside the house and see if I can map out what I want. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have figured out what I'm gonna do. So this is my idea. So we have our shelf here, right? So it's not quite um, how I like it. So, I mean, we only have two spots and they're not that big. So instead, I don't need this whole thing for height. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out what size the box of chisels is, this box and the box of chisels for the lathe. And I'm gonna build a shelf about that height, probably around there. Um, and the way it's gonna be held up is by wood, little wood strips. They're gonna be along here, and then the board's gonna rest on top. So, that way, it's completely removable, and I can just screw the boards here so they don't fall over. And then that'll give me more space, and I can stick things like, if I don't have enough space down here, I can stick the stain up here, and I can put other stuff under there while maximizing the space that I'm using. And everything still be able to get to. So, if everything was a little bit confusing, as you can see, I have my, my tape measure, my hammer. And what I'm thinking is, I'll put my projects that I'm working on, a project I've already done, up here so that way I can kind of show them off and so that way they're out of the way and they're not getting hurt. And I have rags here so I'll probably put this bag of uh, paper there as well. And so yeah. Um, yeah, and as you guys can see, this is um, my test board so you can kind of see what the board for Jade's gonna look like. It's gonna be so cool, y'all. Um, I'm super excited. And so I've got like other grip, uh, like other projects like this grip that I made a while ago. And I'll put that kind of stuff up there. And then if, if I have like little materials that I can use, I'll probably get another bin like these. And I can just throw them back by the other bins. And then like back up here by the other bins. And they will be out of the way, but still, I'll still be able to get to them. Okay, so. Now this also means, guys, this also means, unfortunately, um, I don't have my shelf here now to put the camera on, so I will have to get a tripod or something and have to, when I'm talking to the camera, look somewhere else because I'm not gonna be able to put it there anymore. It's so just so you know. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, so I'm gonna set you guys up to where you can see what I'm doing and I'm just gonna start working and do time lapse. Okay, so I actually just got an idea. Instead of using that much wood up, instead what we can do is we can just uh, get a piece about as wide as we need it to hold it up. Here, let me turn you guys so you can see me. All right, so instead of using this whole piece, we will cut it down um, to how much room we think we need to hold it up in the back and the front, and we'll put it against the wall and again, this wall, and the board will rest on those, and that way we're not using up this much material, we can just use up this much material. So, that'll be a little bit better, so I'm gonna do that instead.
Okay, so I'm just now realizing that my um, chisels for the lathe, they are too long. I didn't measure them that way. So they won't fit on there because of my hammer holder. So they don't really need to go up there anyways because they go by the lathe, and so that's okay. So I'm just not going to worry about that. And we can put other stuff up there like sandpaper. That'll be a good spot for sandpaper. Um, Treat the sandpaper and just go up there. That'll be pretty good. Um, so that'll work. And I can also stick small, thin projects that I'm working on right up there as well. So that'll be fine. Or I can stick wood scraps up there. So it's fine. It still makes this very functional. And it's, there's, it's still tall enough. I can stick like my glue bottle up there and other stuff like that, which is really nice. Ew. So, yeah. Um, if I, but if I put this chisel box over here, then it makes it to where there is, it can't come out without me taking the hammer off. So that's really nice. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys what I did. So I've got a block here and block there, block over there and block right there. And then just the board on top. Have it guys that is how I re reorganized my desk in a couple of hours and how you can organize yours um, again this is just a filler video so that way my channel wouldn't be empty for like months because yeah I still haven't even started on the chessboard so it'll be a long time before that video comes out so unfortunately it'll be a while also we're still getting parts for the lathe so that video will also be coming very far away future you want to say bye Blackie look at me Wanna say bye? No? Hmm. 
All right, well, this is Blackie with Woodworking. Oh, come on. This is Blackie with Woodworking Amateurs United. Thanks for watching and have a blessed week. What in?